For set four, AT&T wants to discontinue landline services in several California communities. And while its request still has to be approved by state utility regulators, a number of area customers are concerned. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis is live in Oroville, where Butte County Tomorrow. Supervisors took action today. Yeah. Chloe, does the board oppose the change? Linda, the board voted unanimously to send a letter opposing AT&T's request. This letter is going to be sent to the CPUC on behalf of Butte County. Now, law enforcement and supervisors say having no landline service is a safety issue. That would negatively affect the ability for um, our citizens who live in those areas to receive emergency alerts from the sheriff's office, as well as uh, their ability to reach out to us in the event of an emergency. Now, apparently, the supervisors say ending landline service is a safety issue. AT&T is a carrier of last resort, and that means it is required to provide plain old tele telephone service, also known as POTS. And if the request to end phone service is approved, it would relieve AT&T of its carrier of last resort obligation. Under Sheriff Matt Calkins, uh, as you just heard, says it's a risk during emergencies and storms for uh, many rural communities. Now, supervisors say cell service is spotty at best in many rural areas and that if landlines aren't available, there has to be an alternative for communication and so we will be following that very closely and we do have a link to the county's letter and that interactive map on our website where you can see just what areas would be impacted head to actionnewsnow.com and click on news links